Part of the mission of the Roger Tory Peterson Institute of Natural History is to not just honor the work of Roger Tory Peterson and all the materials they left behind, but also to continue his important work to connect natural history and the study of natural history with um, the general public. In my mind, Roger Tory Peterson is sort of the consummate citizen scientist. He was the one person to take um, the study of natural history away from academics and brought it mainstream to the general public by pr providing his, his field guides and the tools that people need to understand what lives in their backyards. So, so these are some examples of the unframed so original field guide uh, plates that Roger completed uh, throughout his career. This is actually a sample from the uh, Birds of Britain and Europe field guide title. And um, as you'll see here, we do have anything from the cover, which, here we go. This is the actual cover of that field guide. This is the original painting. It's mixed media, uh, mostly we would say gouache, watercolor. Um, he also used at some time India ink or pencil. Um, he often used different mediums uh, for each piece. Um, and this is a great example as well. Um, now in this piece, you'll notice uh, something that uh, made Peterson's methods famous, um, and that was called the Peterson Identification System, uh, which is evident through the arrows that you'll see pointing to distinguishing characteristics on this plate. So the arrow was pointing to um, the part of the species that you're going to be looking for that's going to help you identify that bird out in the field. And so Roger's um, system of identification really helped um, any level of birder or nature enthusiast to be able to do this. He wanted everyone to, um, you know, be able to go outside, pick up his book, and easily identify uh, species in their backyard.